Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you a creepy story that happened to me last year. Okay, so I was just sitting, doing nothing, and then my friend called me. She told me that she was coming over. I told her, okay, come. And then I waited like 10, 20 minutes, something like that, and then somebody knocked on the door. I got so excited, I thought it was my friend. I went running and um, opened the door. And guess what? That wasn't my friend. It was an old, old lady. Her hands were le- really large and shaking. Like, oh my god, like, I cannot explain it. And her nails were, like, taller than than the Eiffel Tower. And they looked so creepy. And I couldn't see her face. She was like this, like, down, like, something like that. Okay, so... And she had this really big suitcase that could almost fit me. And she had this small bag. I'm not even kidding you. I heard something cry from that bag. I'm not lying. I swear. I heard something crying from that bag. My mom was out. I don't know where. And my dad was my dad was in in business. And my brother studies college in London. So like I'm the only one home. So I got so scared. So I was like, um, hello, can I help you? She's like, How old are you? I was like, Why do you care? She she told me, just answer me. How old are you? I was like, I'm nine. She told me, Okay, come, I wanna show you something. I was like, No, no, no. You can show me from right here because I got so scared. What if I got kidnapped? No one could see me. Okay, so she told me, no, no, you have to come. I told her, no, just stop it. I'm not coming with you. And then she got so mad. She pulled my hand really hard. Her hands were so large. Her nails were so tall. Like, she could chop my hand off. Thank God. Thank God I'm Taekwondo. Thank God I'm strong in Taekwondo, brown belt. Thank God. Thank God. Um, so the minute she held my hand, She could feel the force that I was taking my hand away from her. Guess what? She took her other hand and squeezed it on both of my hands. I was like, honey, I still have my legs in my brain. I went in front of her. I'll just sit in front of her. Just give her a quick hit on the face and maybe made her fall down. Let's just say that. And she got so mad. Okay, as soon as I made her fall down, I went, closed the door, locked it. And I swear, I'm not even kidding you. She kept knocking on the door. Like She was like, open the door! Open the door! I was like, oh my god. And she was holding the handle. Like, you know that thing on the handle? She was just like holding it and trying to open it. But it was locked. So I was like, okay. And then a few months later, she went. I was like, okay, she's gone. Um, so I went just looking in front of the window to see if my friend came in. Because I know her her car. I just, uh, her mother's car. So I was just looking at the window. Guess what happened next? That creepy old lady popped in front of my face. She literally popped in front of my face. And she told me, I will kill you. Oh, so I got the phone. I have my own phone, thank God. I got the phone. I wrote 911. I showed her that I will call them. She was like, I will break the window. And I grabbed my phone, wrote 911, showed it to her. Then she just got so creeped out. And she tried to open the window. To get the phone for me. But thank God my dad put these new windows. They have a lock and they're unbreakable. They're two pieces of glass. They're unbreakable. And then um, my mother's friend knows that I'm home alone and my friend's coming. So thank God my friend came while, while the old lady is still staring at me from the window. I opened the door. My friend's mom came in. I told my friend's mom everything. She came in with my friend. So that old lady would think that my friend's mom is my mom. So then she saw my friend's mom. And then she got so creeped out. Thank God. And she went running. And I never saw her again. 
So I'm never going to open the door for strangers, and I'm going to say who's there before I open to anyone. Okay, so that's it. Bye.